Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N R. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 15. Day number 15. Here's the problem for today. We are given a circle and we are told that. Uh, Let's first locate the center. Center is here somewhere. We are told that this is 90 degrees. The center is called X. Then we have Y. And then we have Z. X is the center. X is the center of the circle. We are told that the radius equals 12. The question simply is, what is the area of the triangle XYZ? Very simple, very straightforward problem. I want you to pause the video at this point. Solve the problem yourself. Let me give the answer choices that are given to us. A, B, C, D, E. 36, 72, 18 pi, 30 pi, and 36 pi. <coughs> so the pi all of a sudden shows up starting from C. I want you to pause the video at this point. Solve the problem yourself. Do whatever you have to do. Once you have the answer, then and only then I want you to resume the video. Do not watch the solutions without actually trying it yourself. Even if you have, even if you, have, if you even if you struggle, even if you have some little trouble, it doesn't matter. It is always a good idea to try it yourself first. You will learn more that way. I'll give you five seconds to pause it and pause the thing. Well, here's here's what's going on. How do we find area of a triangle? Area of a triangle equals one half base times height. One half base times height. Here, what you have to realize is that I want, what you have to realize, I want, I'm going to pick up this. I'm going, to, I'm going to pick up this circle, this triangle. I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to rotate it so you can see it. Pick it up and rotate it. There is your circle. And pick it up and rotate it right like this. This is 90 degrees, we are told. This is your x, this is your y, and this is your z. And we are told that the radius is 12. If radius is 12, then from x to z is 12. And if the radius is 12, then x to y is also 12. But there you go. There is your base and height. One half base times height. There you go. This is see, don't don't worry about don't worry about this guy. Don't worry about this guy. This doesn't do it. This is this is your it doesn't matter which one you call base and this one you call height. This is this is base, this is height, or the other way around, and this is the 90 degrees. And we know this is 12, and we know this is 12. One half base times height. It's just the fact that it is sitting at an odd angle that that uh, sort of trips people off, but it's actually a very straightforward problem. Today was problem number seven. I've been keeping track of how many problems you have done. Today is the problem number seven. In case you're wondering why this is problem number seven, when we are only up to on the day number 15, is because in the first 10 days, we did not solve any problem. In the first 10 days, I just covered the basic concepts of geometry. So if you want to learn any of those basic concepts, you can watch the first 10 days videos and you'll see them. But anyway, that's it, we're done. One half base times height. 2 goes into 12 6 times and it's just 6 times 12. We know 6 times 5 is 6 times 5, uh, 12 times 5 is well 12 times 10 is 120, 12, 5, 12 times 5 is 60. All the 12 makes it 72. Well, 72. Do we see it? Right there. The answer is B. That's all. That's it. We're done. That's all I have for today. I will see you tomorrow. In the meantime, if you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, either face to face or over the internet via Skype, 
for JRE, GMAT, SAT, TOEFL or Algebra, Geometry, Statistics, Calculus, whatever you have there. Just go to any of these website addresses and send me an email. Or you can go to kishwaniprep.com and send me an email from there. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.